Good morning children. How are you? Today in this video we are going to study about chapter 4. Yes children and in that we, the name of the chapter 4 is living in a community. Now children uh, we are going to study the topic caring for public property. As we have seen till now that uh, there are very uh, a lot of uh, things which we have to care that they are called the public property as you all know that what do you mean by public property and what do you mean by personal property children okay so for us our personal property is very very important like that we should always take care of our public property also so till now we have seen uh, about if you will see hospital schools gardens yes museum uh, sorry uh, monuments etc today in this video we are going to study about museum yes children as you can see the picture here children museum see people what do you, what do you mean by museum children the question first question come in your mind that what do you mean by museum okay so first observe the picture carefully see in this uh, room if you will see there are uh, animals they are real but they are not alive okay they are dead okay so uh, see children uh, in olden days if you will see the kings they used to uh, hunt animals but now you can't hunt animal as i have i told you in uh, in the previous video also that we can't hunt animal but if you will see children uh, uh, in uh, you can say years ago we can say that the king they used to hunt animals children yes and uh, while hunting they uh, that was their hobbies we can say so the uh, those animals they were kept in the museum as you know that animals they uh, they are very useful okay if you will see their teeth their bones they are used also in medicinal uh, thing also okay so uh, in olden days uh, people the king they hunt animals and which were kept on the museum okay children so you can see how people see how people are there in the museum and you can see also elephant we can see different different animals wild animals okay so uh, basically we can say yes this is museum so actually museum is what yes it is a building in which art facts or item of historical artistic and cultural importance are kept or preserved and showcased to people is called a museum so children what do you mean by museum yes it is a building in which art facts or items of historical artistic and cultural importance are kept preserved and showcased to people is called a museum hence museum are sources of great information the indian museum in kolkata the national museum in delhi and the salar jung museum in hyderabad children they are some of the most important and re-owned museum in india so children if you will see basically in museum we can't keep anything okay so uh, what we have to keep there uh, artifacts or item of historical artistic and cultural importance which are kept and also preserved and showcased to people okay children so uh, when we visit museum children see uh, here uh, in your book if you will see they mention about the indian museum in kolkata the national museum in delhi and the salar jung museum in hyderabad these are the most important museum of India yes children so what things we have to do and what things we can't do we don't have to do in the museum when you visit museum yes children you have to throw your waste only in dustbin so if you will see children second point do not take photograph inside a museum without permission okay if you want to take photograph first you have to take permission without permission it is not allowed otherwise strict action will be taken 
against you so don't click photographs inside a medium without permission children throw your waste only in the dustbin do not touch the items on display in a museum it is not like our home that we can touch anything okay whenever we want whatever we want no in a museum there are some etiquettes and manners which we have to follow children do not touch the items on display in a museum okay children because they are very very they are preserved and showcased to people if everybody will touch what will happen very soon it will uh, spoil or it will it get damaged so we can't uh, touch it okay so walk in a queue on do, and do not make noise inside a museum it is not a garden so you can make uh, you can make noise and you can shout or you can play or uh, you are walking uh, as you want no you have to walk in a queue some general etiquettes and manners we have to follow children yes now right now we will i will show you some uh, yes some beautiful pictures yes the indian museum in kolkata children see if you will see this is the indian museum in kolkata yes children this is the indian museum museum in kolkata and i want to tell you about the indian museum in kolkata about this that this museum is now sealed from uh, march uh, 18th or 14th it is sealed why why it is sealed why uh, this museum we can't see no the reason is because of covid 19 here some um, paramilitary force they are giving security to this museum that is called the central industrial security force that is cisf but uh, one officer he is uh, posit uh, he is he died because of covid 19 and because of that 32 uh, security uh, people they came in contact with uh, this officer that's why they all are quarantine and this uh, um, you can see this kolkata uh, museum it is seal but very soon it will be open for you so it is the very important uh, we can say the indian museum in kolkata it is the very important museum of india okay so if you will see the next one children the national museum in delhi okay children if you went to delhi if you will go to delhi definitely visit this museum that is the national museum in delhi okay children so see you can see the uh, how people they are uh, they are enjoying the you can say what are the art items okay so the crafts item we will see uh, these are some um, clothes or uh, of the boots you can say okay so all this uh, when people uh, in the olden age the great king they use all these things so it is kept on the in the museum so you can see this also this is the uh delhi museum if you will see this yes the third one is the salar jung museum in hyderabad so we know about kolkata museum then we know about yes if you will see this is the uh indian museum in delhi yes okay national museum in delhi if you will see and the third one which is very important museum in india that is the salar jung museum in hyderabad yes children if you will see this is the salar jung museum in hyderabad yes children see the beautiful uh, you can say the things which are kept uh, statue which are kept in the salar jung museum in hyderabad yes children now we will see wells and tanks now children what do you mean by wells and tanks if you can see the picture yes these are the tanks which you you are also having at your home yes for drinking water for using your water for other work you are having this yes these are the tanks which we will say yes so everybody is nowadays everybody is having at our home okay children now if you will see children Uh, yes see these are the wells okay so what they are saying the wells and tanks are con constructed to store water and provide it to a locality so what is the use of well children and why tanks are necessary constructed because to store water what is the work of well and what is the work of tanks yes they construct 
this well and tanks to store water and provide it to the locality locality means the local people who are living in that area they need that wells and tanks children okay so uh, what things we have to do and what things we don't the wells and tank must be covered children if you can see this picture children you will understand see the well they are uh, covered okay after use we can cover it or at the top you can see uh, the next picture they make one uh, roof for uh, means uh, nothing can uh, damage the well water for that okay children so uh, you can say uh, the wells and tank must be covered this thing you have to do and what you should not do throw garbage into an open well okay do not throw garbage into an open well so if the you can see the well and you will put um, garbage inside it so what will happen yes you can drink clean water you will uh, you it may cause some disease to you also okay so uh, these things you have to keep and don't do that is don't throw garbage into an open well then a disinfectant must be used to clean the water in wells and tanks regularly if you will see children this picture you will understand yes these are the disinfectant if you will see the name if it is of any brand which uh, tablets you can put in this tanks and uh, these are the disinfectants we can say or we can say water purification tablets which we can put inside this tank and we can purify the water understood children so what we have to do we have to yes disinfectant must be used to clean the water in wells and tanks regularly okay see children if you will see in the next picture yes these are the picture of some uh, women and men who are standing in the queue uh, to get water yes children in rural area the condition is very uh, bad you can say yes people are not getting water for drinking so uh, they are taking from well or you can say from the tap okay so the local government they are providing water so always remember you have to stand in a queue queue while uh, taking water okay don't fight uh, and don't break the line so you have to show some patience so here we complete our first part of lesson number 4 living in a community that is caring for public property yes children you have to keep in your mind that uh, public like personal property like that public properties are also very important for us and we have to take care of our public property yes children so uh, hope you enjoy the video thank you so much